In this video, we're going to take a look at three examples of how to use the arc length formula. Now the arc length formula looks like this. Theta is equal to A over R. Uh, manipulated, you can actually get rid of the denominator and simply write it as A equals R theta. Okay, so depending on what is being asked for in a particular question, you might want to go with one version, another version, or you could also go with the version where R is isolated. Now, the thing to know about this formula is that it only works when theta is expressed in terms of radians. So if you get a question, like we'll see in example number two, where they give you an angle in degrees, sometimes the tendency for students to do is to just take that angle in degrees and sub it right in for theta. But you have to remember that this only works for radians, so you have to convert that angle in degrees into radians first. Okay, let's take a look at a very simple example and see how this works. Determine theta to the nearest tenth of a radian if the radius of the circle shown is 2 feet and the length of the arc is 48 inches. Uh, so right away I noticed that uh, we've got two different units, feet and inches, and so we want to uh, make that a uh, consistent unit. Right? We don't want to work with feet and inches, we want to just make them consistent. So maybe one thing that we could do is we could take 2 feet, okay, and knowing the conversion we know that there's 12 inches per foot. Right? So I can go 12 feet, uh, sorry, 2 feet times 12 inches per foot uh, the feet cancel if we do some unit analysis and we end up with 24 inches. So two feet obviously is 24 inches. And so now I'm looking for theta. There's my, my formula is, is up here. Okay. So theta is equal to A over R. So I've got theta is equal to um, A, which is 48 inches. Okay. As indicated right here, that's the arc length. And uh, the radius is, of course, 2 feet, but we've actually already converted that into 24 inches. So I'll write inches here, inches there. And so now what we end up with is inches cancel, and theta is just simply equal to 2. Uh, now, because the inches cancel, there's, there's actually no units. And so that's what radians is. It's, it's, it, radians is just a, a ratio, right? So it's not like degrees where you say 58 degrees or 2 degrees. Uh, radians is just a ratio, so it's just a number, right? So it's 2, meaning that the arc length is double the radius, right, if you look at this formula, okay? Uh, now, you have the option of putting something that looks like units, but really it's not necessary, okay? All right, so let's take a look at example number 2. As promised, example number 2 gives you the central angle in terms of degrees, okay? Now in this one, they want us to determine uh, to the nearest tenth of a yard the length of the bolded arc in the diagram below. Okay, so the arc, okay, as previously rearranged, okay, is given by r times theta, right? This is a rearranged or manipulated version of theta is equal to a over r. Okay, so um, I can start, I guess, I could go a is equal to, the radius is eight yards, right, eight yards. Okay, but again, don't put in 135 degrees for theta. What you want to put in is, let's just do a quick calculation here. Theta is going to be equal to, yes, it's 135 degrees, but to convert that into, uh, sorry, to convert that into um, radians, uh, for some reason this is failing me right now, uh, 135 degrees uh, into radians is we need to multiply by pi over 180. Okay, so I'll do a quick calculation here with my trusty calculator. And I end up with uh, 2.36 radians, and that's rounded. Okay, so not a big deal if you write down the rounded version uh, in your solution, but uh, please make sure that if that's not the final answer, that you need to carry the unrounded solution, or this guy right here in my calculator, 2.35 something, uh, carry that in your uh, subsequent calculations. Okay, so then I can put this in 2.36 here for my uh, theta, and then it's just a matter of taking that unrounded value in your calculator and multiplying it by 8. Uh, final answer is 18.8 .8 yards. All right, so uh, we just have one example left over, so let's just go on to number 3. The interesting thing about number three is that there's only one number that's given, okay, and that appears to be the arc length from A to B is equal to 31 meters. Now, I know that the arc length formula is relatively simple. There's only really three quantities there, theta, radius, arc length. So um, it should be pretty easy to use, but the problem is, is that they only give us one quantity, okay? So that means 
we have to sort of uh, draw on our previous knowledge of triangles in this case to be able to solve this question. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the triangle with vertices A, O, B is an equilateral triangle. Determine the length of the circle's radius if O is the center of the circle round to the nearest meter. Okay, so it's an equilateral triangle. And the thing you know about equilateral triangles is that their angles are also equal. Now, if you happen to remember that the sum of the angles in any triangle, equilateral or not, is 180 degrees, then of course you can go 180 degrees divided by three angles in a triangle, and that gives you uh, uh, the measure of each angle is 60 degrees. Okay, so this guy right here, the central angle is 60 degrees. Okay, now these two angles in A and B, they're also 60 degrees, but they're not really relevant uh, in this case because the theta in the arc length formula refers to the central angle. Again, um, I'm thinking of it in terms of degrees, and so I need to convert this into radians first before I use the formula. So theta is actually going to be equal to 60 degrees, uh, and again, multiply by the conversion factor times pi over 180. Now, the interesting thing is, is I could go to my calculator and get the decimal version of this, but really 60 degrees uh, times pi over 180, 60 over 180 is a third. So really what I have here is pi over 3. Okay, so that's my theta in radians, whatever that is. Pi over 3, pi is like $3.14 approximately, divided by 3, 1 point something, right? One, inch, one point change. All right, so uh, if I need to find out the radius this time, now let's see, the radius, wouldn't that be A over theta? Right, so the if you make R the subject of uh, the formula that we've been using, then R is equal to A over theta. Okay, so great, we've got A is equal to 31 meters, Theta is dimensionless and is pi over 3. So again, um, this angle right here has no units. So really, our final units will be meters. Okay, So it'll be 31 divided by pi over 3, which if you divide by this fraction, it'll be 93 over pi. And at this point, um, I will go to my calculator and see what 93 divided by pi is. Okay, drum roll please. 29.6. It does say round to the nearest meter, so I will say 30 meters. Okay, and, and that's really how you use that arc length formula.